everyone, Ms. Ali is here and today we are going to be talking about how you can attract birds to your backyard. But before we start, I need to tell you something. Do you remember what I said in my first video? I said I'm going to create my own anime. I started making the characters. And in the next video, I'm going to upload this. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you the characters. It's not going to be the episode 1. After this video, I'm gonna try to move these characters. Of course, I'm not gonna use the normal technique of making anime. I'm gonna use the another technique, which I don't wanna tell you right now. Uh, I think I can make it. Or, or else it's not gonna be the problem. If I couldn't make it, then don't forget what I said about anime. Okay, let's move on to the main video. How you can attract birds to your backyard. By the way, in the description you can read the plant names that can attract birds to your garden. Have you glimpsed the fancy flash of a hummingbird and then stopped to watch? Spotting a bird in their natural environment gives a sense of wonder. Some people love this feeling so much and they travel far and wide to make the spot. But it doesn't have to be the case. Having a garden full of birds is also a wonderful way to see feathered species right to your backyard. This video will give you some handy tips on how to use natural plants and simple devices to create a garden that attracts birds. Here's the benefits of a birding garden. The sweet sound of bird song is a soothing way to find peace in a busy world. And birds is a simple way to bring much needed stress relief into hectic lives. And what's more, it's good for the ecosystem and the environment. A bird friendly garden helps support wildlife and in turn, since these birds control bugs and pests, pollinate fruits and flowers. There is more good news because a bird friendly garden doesn't need chemicals or pesticides to grow healthy plants. With careful planting, you can encourage feathered visitors that dine on ants, aphids, beetles and caterpillars. With one stroke supporting bird numbers and doing away with chemical products, which is good for the environment or health in so many ways. Planting a bird friendly garden. To create a successful birding garden means giving the birds what they want. For example, a finch friendly destination offers seed bearing plants such as asters, sunflowers, and sunflowers. Uh, but in all, but the smallest yards, think in broad strokes with a wide range of planting to attract vari variety uh, of birds from migrating sandpipers to grub loving woodpeckers. From this video, you can choose plants that are perfectly adapted to the climate and soil type and exist in harmony with the indigenous insects. Remember, these bugs are also a source of food for birds, which means getting double the value from the plants. Plus, these insects and birds pollinate the flowers for a rich display of blossoms, blooms and fruits. Create a multi-layered display of using plants of different heights and a spray of seeding times. But don't be over hasty with the dead heading. I mean, birds love the seeds. Consider making space for ornamental grasses, fruiting shrubs, vines and indeed trees to offer base a source of food, shelter and nesting materials. Fortunately, there are wealth of suitable plant species for to, to choose from a, uh, to create a birding garden to keep everyone happy. The perfect garden for birds. Important as food is there is more to life than just eating. The best birding gardens are attractive to feathered visitors because they can rest, bath and feel safe from the predators here and maybe even stop to raise their young. The most basic factor is that the birds feel safe when serving area. The choice of planting helps with this by providing wines from small species to flit in and out of and trees on which to perch away from the local cat. The spacing of plantings is also important for the plants to flourish and the birds to see what's going around them. This video will offer you not just a plant list, 
but also some simple, super useful advice to make your garden attractive to these fellow visitors in a snap. Pick some of your favorite plants from the li this list, follow these suggestions, and it's not difficult to it's not difficult at all to attract them. The choice of planting encourages bits with it, but at those times of the year when natural mm, natural food is scarce, then bird feeders are invaluable. Offering the right seeds help birds to survive and encourage them to stay. Most species do best with types of feeders that allow them to perch in a natural position. To draw a diverse range of birds to the garden provide a range of hopper, tray and tube feeders. And when those birds have discovered your bird and garden, encourage them to stay and raise the next generation by putting up nesting boxes. Lastly, an often overlooked but vital resource is water. I mean water. A simple sh 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 shallow bird bath provides life-saving drinking water and the hay of summer or depths of winter and allows birds to bathe and keep plumage in tip-top condition. Create a birding garden uh, as a one-stop stop spot that meets all a bird's needs and in return you will have a lively display of visitors all year round. Uh, and the great thing is garden birding doesn't have to be expensive. Why not improvise a bird bath or make your own birdhouse? Benefit the local ecosystem by planting native species which encourage native wildlife. And let the birds control pests without the need for insecticides. Simply decide which birds you would most like to see them, then plan to attract them. And to make the garden irresistible, just use the bird feeders to supplement their diet, a bird bath for water, water and bird houses to raise chicks on site. With just a little know-how, the payoff is a vibrant garden for the birds and place in peace and place of peace and mindfulness for you. All right, today we talked about how you can attract birds to your backyard. Uh, if you think this video was useful for you, you can like the video. And uh, you can press here for another videos. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to see the anime.